you have an image file and you want to integrate it into your website or you want to maybe upload it to a shop page or something like that and that page limits you in how big the files should be when they're uploaded to that site, then I have a tool for you, which is called Image Optim. This tool is free to download and you can just simply find it by Googling Image Optim for Mac. And then you have this application. In the settings of this application, you can change a couple of things. So have a peek around in terms of what kind of quality levels you might want to use for the optimizations. I'm fine with JPEG at 80%, for example, and that also is what the research shows. Now, the magic when you are actually dropping a file in is that a file that is currently 21.6 megabytes, for example, I drag that into this application and you also see the size right there. And now this will actually overwrite the current file that is already in the folder with a recompressed smaller file. And as you can see in this case, it was actually able to save 87.1% going down to a now 2.8 megabyte file. The really interesting thing is that even now, this picture still has phenomenal detail and is really not missing all that much in comparison to the previously 28 megabyte file. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to compress the files that I want to archive or I want to store for a very long time. That's not the use for this tool. I use this tool when I'm uploading files to a website, when I'm using them on a storefront or something similar to that sort. If I'm actually going to print files, I am going to definitely use the highest quality that I have available and that would not be this compressed file. But now you know how to vary effectively and for free compress files so that they are not as humongous as they were before while also keeping the quality top-notch.